What's going on, guys? Maybe that sun behind me is not too bright. We are uh, out on a new body of water today. We've never fished before. We have fished the Warrior River before, but this is going to be a, a smaller river off of uh, the Warrior River, right? Um, never have been here, so it's kind of going in blind. Just like always, though, we're out trying to catch some catfish, so we're going to see if we can get on a few brim beds and get us some bait where we can put out some cut bait. I think Chris brought along some uh, jugs we're going to stick out and some of our vertical trot lines and we're just going to sit back and relax and do some catfishing with our rod and reels. So, uh, that being said, our boat captain's going to have to get us there, <laughs> where, wherever there he is, but we're going to try to look around and see if we can find somewhere that looks good and brimmy first and see if we can find some good looking catfishy rock walls or some log jams or something, see if we can bring some Mr. Mr. Whiskers home tonight. Let her rip, Tater Chip. Guys, like I said, we're up here on a different body of water that I've never fished this far up. I have fished lower, probably about 10 miles lower. But uh, what we're doing is we got a few spots that we eyeballed on the way in that we want to put some set hooks out for some flatheads. And uh, we're gonna put a few jugs out tonight and some vertical trot lines while we're catching bait. Uh, Chris is on his way right now behind you but he's <laughs> <laughs> while he's heading out to where we can go put a few set hooks out where the flatheads spots are and what we're looking for is a good overhanging branch and some uh, big rocks or rock work there where the flatheads during the daytime are up under them so uh that's the game plan, but we do have several hand size or semi hand size brim that uh, I know we're going to put them on hold where the set hooks are going to go for them flatheads and uh, probably do some cut bait tonight for the blues. We're just basically checking to see what all's in here, but maybe we'll have a good night. All right, guys, uh, like you said a while ago, we got through cut, catching our bait. So now we're kind of looking for places to run a few of our set hooks right here we got down on the bottom of the boat. So uh, what I'm looking for right now is these rock ledges. We'll find some overhanging branches where it's a little bit of depth to it. Maybe we can catch something. So far, these are the only rock ledges we've seen in this stretch of area that we came into. And it's right in a bend. And coming out of the bend, there's a deep hole up here that uh, probably what 15 foot deeper. Yeah, than else? yeah, 15 foot deeper than anything else around here. So we're gonna put one of our vertical trot lines. We'll show you guys that. So, uh, but right now, like Chris said, we're looking for some overhanging limbs here where we can put out a few uh, set hooks. We're not gonna put a lot out and probably run them on the way back out because we're gonna kind of go upstream and fish a little bit. We'll do some rod and reel fishing up there. Right there's my little limb line that I've made up. I just took a little piece of PVC, put a reflector on it, and tied some nylon catfish. I guess, what is it, catfish line, whatever they call it. And I've got a pretty decent size hook. Honestly, I don't know the size of it. And a Looks one like ounce weight. Bay. Maybe a nine ounce, maybe. And what we like to do is get out here on the end of the limb, not up on that solid part of the limb, but get out here on the end 
That way you get several of the branches and you wad them up and that's what you tie on to it. Way it kind of acts like a, a fishing pole. Fishing bowl. Yeah, a fishing pole in the sense that it'll wear him out. What's your depth here? Depth is eight four. But you can look, I don't know if you can see that little indention right there. These flatheads that get in those indentions. And there's several that I can see. I know you can't see on camera up under under this rock wall here. So hopefully there's some flatheads laying up in there. Get you a bait, sir. Please, sir. We got a bad one. Let's find it. Yeah, bigger. Kind of a way too, if you can kind of see right here. By putting a reflector on a little piece of PVC, it lets us be able to see these things at night with a the flashlight. But also the way I got it hanging right there is if something gets on it a limit, bam, that'll fall off and let us know, hey, there might be something on this one. Yeah, at least when it gets a hit. All right, just got through putting out the uh, little M lines. So what we're fixing to do is get my vertical jugs out. And listen to the live well talk to us for a minute. And uh, just kind of been trolling down the center of the channel, looking for the deepest spots. And so far, everything around here has been, been about 15 foot, except for this one little spot right here, where I'm getting about 19. So I'm gonna set a vertical trot line right here. These vertical trot lines that we built, what we really like about them is any of you guys that run trot lines, sometimes you go into an area and you're like, man, I wish I had a, a good spot to tie off a trot line here, because you know this is a good hot area. Well, the good thing about a vertical is we can we can set that thing anywhere we want it. I'm going to show you, let Chris show you a little bit about it here. What? All right. So what it is pretty much is homemade cement weights. Made those weights using a little small Dixie cup, a a um, coat hanger, and some quick crate. Bait, please, and we put, and I'm trying to remember, is it 50 foot of line I think we've got on them and we can adjust that to the depth we want it. So, and the good thing about it is, I'm trying to remember how many hooks you got on that, you think? There's four hooks on this four one. Four hooks on it and we got them evenly spaced apart. That way like, you're fishing each one of the water columns as yeah, you're doing it. Each one of them's in a different water column and the good thing about it too is when one fish gets on it, he pulls, he's trying to go one way, another one gets on, he's trying to pull the other way. So the vertical trot line usually stays in the same area where you set it up, at least pretty close to it. And uh, we're just using larger PVC and the larger float tubes. Heck, we can't even get our stuff all baited out. I think we already got a fish on one of our vertical trot lines. I'm gonna give it a give it a check anyway. Yeah, it's definitely gonna fish. Yeah, Yeah. Well, that was 
that. That's a good eater right there. Quick, ain't it? Yeah. What was that? Oh, I didn't want to get that freaking fan <laughs> in me. That's what that was. <laughs> We're going to get her baited back up and uh, see you guys when we get them rods in the water. I think we still got a few jugs we're gonna put out too. So yeah, we got a yeah yeah we got a little creek creek uh, that's coming into this main body here. I think we're gonna try to put some jugs in it and let them float out while we're fishing up above them. So we'll get that done and maybe we'll get some more fish here before it gets dark. <laughs> All right, guys, what we got going on is we got a main creek right here behind us. Deep Creek Channel. It's 17.3 feet right here. Right out here is the main river channel. So we're kind of set up right in between them. We're gonna have some in the deep, some in this main creek here, and then some probably up here on the edge of this bank right here. Just seeing if we can get on anything. All right, guys, just got all the rods put out. Thought we got enough out. We're covering every little section of this play. What do you think, boss? Wait and see, I guess. Pretty optimistic, though, catching that one before we even got all of our stuff out. We got about 10 jugs north of us here. We came back downstream a little ways we'll catch them when they come through later tonight so hey you never know on a new spot till you get out and fish it so that's what we're doing maybe we can bring home a few more for a fish fry i'll let the bugs Woo. guys i don't know if you can see me but my goodness we are covered up in mayflies they are all over the place Yeah. I'll try and hold the light on you there with <laughs> all these bugs. Bad thing about fishing in the dark. <laughs> you giant, but you still eat her. Yeah, Too. All right, guys, we're checking our vertical trot lines now. If we can get away from all these dang mayflies, I know it's hard to see. When we get oh, we got a good fish here. Let's get there. Some blue. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good eater. Talking to you. 
Mm -hmm. Got the hook out of him? Hook's out of him. We'll get back here out of the way. <clears throat> Whew. I'm tired of breathing bugs. Can't beat that one. No, yeah, that's a good one. Death roll. <laughs> Right. Get that jug put away. Let's check another one. We got another one on. Guys, we got another fish on, <coughs> and we're getting covered up in bugs again. <laughs> I don't see. Yeah. Next vertical, tr next vertical trot line just bouncing up and down. Maybe I can get it on video when we get up close to it, but it's. It's a hopping up and down, praying to God it's a, another cat, not no gar, but whew, man, he's mayflies or something else. Top one. <laughs> Big blue. I'll pop him over in here. Good job. Uh, yeah, good job. <laughs> turn it off. Turn, turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Ah. We got a bouncing limb, guys. Maybe we can get up there close where you can see it. I think that's what we're targeting right here, was it not? It was. Alright. That was a good eater. There we go. Alright, get back up out of your way there. All right, we figured we'd uh, film this outro when we got out of all the bugs. Cause Lord knows we was covered up in them mayflies all evening long with the lights blaring. Uh, well, honestly, it's 11.59 right now. We just made it home. We uh, managed to get six catfish and it pays to not be so uh, one dimensional because we went into this new area with the fishing rods, vertical trot lines, some jugs, and then put out some set hooks. We ended up, like I said, with six catfish, and um, none of them came off the reeling rod, so it was a good thing we brought the, the other thing, uh, the other things with us. So, uh, like I said, guys, I'm tired, it's late, but we're gonna end this video. And um, appreciate you guys tagging along with us. We had a blast trying out a new spot and uh matter of fact that spot we found by looking on onyx finding a good place to launch and uh it worked out for us and we got some fish for the freezer well like always guys appreciate you watching and uh hit that subscribe button and please hit that like button and uh we'll see you guys on the next video